you are learning what you are being taught. You recognize what your neighbor is doing. If he has an iPod which is pink color, you must get an iPod which is pink color. It is so copycat nowadays that the individual style and identity seems to have disappeared. And you slowly but surely are becoming someone who is either in this box or in that box. But when you stand out, that is when you become a social array. That is when you become Catherine Zeta-Jones. That is when you become any supermodel that you want in today's world. Whether it's Adrena Lima, or it is Penelope Cruz, or any one of them. I have worked very closely with very senior models. And having worked with them, it's always been an education. But as a photographer, you have to understand that working with an international model means like going to dance with someone. You need to establish trust between the model and the photographer. The photographer has to trust the model and the model has to trust the photographer. They have to be in complete synchronization. It is like a dance. When you dance, you cannot go fast and your partner goes slow. It has to be with the same rhythm and with the same tune. Having exactly trust between each other. Is it interesting what I'm saying or no? Yes. Do you all agree with that? Yes. So, young lady, just to make sure that I'm not wasting my time, I want to know what does fashion mean to you? What about you, young lady? What does style mean? Style, I don't know. Okay. And what does glamour mean to you? Uh, it's a mix of both mean fashion and style. All right. Now, to be able to discuss this complex kind of situation in glamour photography, I'm going to show you a series of videos. But having talked so much about the model side of glamour photography, I'd also like to express a little bit on the photography side. When you look at taking glamour, glamorous pictures or glamour photography or fashion photography pictures, it's a completely different ball game. Fashion photography is a very complex subject because you're going to take one moment in a person's life and exhibit it through multimedia, on television, on billboards, Promotion, publications, literatures, newspapers, magazines. How do you find that right moment that will look beautiful in all these different areas? It will look nice in a magazine, it should look nice on a billboard, it should look nice in a newspaper, it should look nice on a TV screen. How do you capture that moment? that it should look nice in any medium that you want, in multimedia. How do you find that in your model? And what do you look for in it? Well, <clears throat> to be a good fashion photographer, you have to understand the aesthetic sense of the human being. Not necessarily a woman, but also a man. How do you look at a man from the aesthetic sense? Is the body in proportion? Is the lighting correct? Is the skin tones alright? And wherever there are deficiencies, it's your job as a photographer not to highlight them but to reduce them and to increase those areas in that model which look extremely beautiful or which are very rare. Of her back. 
is strong and which is weak. This is extremely important in fashion photography for a model because if a model has back problems, she cannot pose correctly, she cannot pose in the direction that you would like her to, she cannot manipulate her body and then there is a disconnection between the face and the body. Understand? Is it too technical or should I make it more simple? It's okay? Sure? You're not lost? Okay. Alright. The second test that we do is skin tone. You know, skin is the biggest organ in our body. And skin helps us, actually beautifies us through its color, through its texture, and we are very bad with our skin. We misuse it. We misuse it in the cold. We misuse it in the hot sun. We misuse it by not moisturizing it. We misuse it through the sandstorms. We need to take care of our skin. This is absolutely important. There are many ways of taking care of your skin. And that does not only come by going to the pharmacy and buying the most expensive uh, lotion. It comes by basic understanding your body. See, when your eyes become weak, you know your eyes are weak. But when your skin gets bad, you say, okay, I'll just wear a shirt over it, fine. Forget about it. It doesn't happen like that. Just because with the eyes you need it all the time, but with the skin you don't. Only when you come in front of the camera you say, Oh my God, you know, I'm looking so white today. I need a suntan. I need to do something about my skin. So, skin treatment comes from water hydration. You need to drink, especially in this part of the world, enough water to hydrate the skin. It takes seven years for us to change our skin. You cannot make it perfect in one day. It's a complete way of understanding how you deal with your skin. And skin is extremely important when it comes to glamour photography because it is that medium on the body on which light is going to reflect. So the second test that we do is the skin test in which we measure light. We measure light and we see how light reflects on your skin. Does it reflect more on a dark skin? Does it reflect more on a light skin? Does the skin need to be treated differently? Is the shot in the air? Is it in water? How is the skin to be treated in terms of getting the right reflection of light towards it? So the second test is done and based on that we use three basic colors, red, blue and green. Based on these three colors, we can then identify that in this given light, right here in this room, what is the best color as a base color for your skin in terms of reflection. When light falls on the skin, two things happen. It reflects and it absorbs. Thicker the skin, the less it absorbs. Lighter the skin, the quicker it reflects. Now, to express yourself and you will be able to show yourself much better. So, 70 hours of practice will take you to level 1. And before you become an international model, you need at least anywhere, minimum, 36 months of training. Before you can become at a level, where you can advertise yourself on Levi's jeans. 36 months of aggressive training. The problem of this is that most of us, so we get constrained. So it's not like cycling or it's not like swimming. You learn it once and you know it for life. Modeling is not like that. Modeling means that you have to keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing. And to be a good glamour photographer, you need to keep practicing in that. 10,000 photographs as a glamour photographer before you get your thumbprint as to how your style is. 
when you become a fashion photographer and you become a good fashion photographer you may be very good for ads only that deal with spectacles only that deal with the eyes you may be good for swimsuits you may be good for products you may be good for children wear it depends you super specialize based on your experience